Welcome back. So, we're here today on the War Thunder dev server. We're going to be looking at the two new Abrams. And I guess we'll start with the clickbait, with, as my friend loves to put it, the chair for Virgil. So, the M1A1 clickbait, I haven't really had a chance to take a look at it. It looks pretty promising, though. Let's see, it's an 11.3, so... I'm pretty sure it's about the same as the HC. Yeah, that looks about right. But we can give it a test drive. I haven't played the HC a whole lot in game. Um, I played the other Abrams a lot more than that one in particular. Mostly because... Well, I got the HC since I saw it was moving over. And I'm not actually that far into that line. I had the... I guess privilege back in the day to skip a lot of the American tree back when the Abrams wasn't connected to anything. But yeah, I mean, there's not really a whole lot to say about this. It's a premium M1A1HC Abrams, which means you're gonna get decent thermals, maybe not the best. That was a dumb shot to take. It seems like it handles fine over difficult terrain. Obviously the ammo is going to go through all of these old tanks. You've got your artillery, your HSS, your smoke grenades, your laser rangefinder. You know, all the little bells and whistles that you'd like. HSS is cool, but thermals obviously see right through it, so it's not really the greatest thing in the world unless you're fighting against people that are stock, or I guess if you're even if you're top tier, most things at this BR usually have thermals, so it's probably not doing you a whole lot of favors, but it is neat. Otherwise, it'll be nice to be able to grind things with this, but bear in mind, it's not exactly going to have a whole lineup built around it. We go back to the hangar. There's the clickbait. If you have the M1A1 aim, that makes a decent backup to it, same with the Merkava 3D. But you're not exactly building a premium lineup around it the way that you can with, uh, the, well I guess the Wolfpack, you can't really do it either, but... With the Wolfpack and the XM1, usually the way that I tell people to get into a nation if they're planning on buying premiums, you wait for a sale, and then you look for a combination of two tanks and a plane or a helicopter. So... In this case, the XM1, the Wolf Pack, and then if you get the Harrier, that makes a decent combo that you can take in. And realistically, you're going to have two to three spawns every game. You can throw backups on them, so on and so forth. So, with rank eight becoming a thing, having the clickbait will be nice. But at least for somebody like me, I already have all of these other Abrams. I already have all these event vehicles, so I have tons of stuff that can already grind into rank 8. Personally, I'm probably not going to pick up the clickbait. I think it looks cool. I think if I didn't have all of this other stuff, I'd be more inclined to actually pick it up. But, yeah, I, I just... It doesn't bring a whole lot of value to me other than throwing another 11-3 on a lineup, which... Let's see... I don't have my presets since we're on the test server. If we wanted to make an 11-3 lineup with what I have trained on everybody... Well, I'd probably make 11-7 personally, but... I don't know exactly how many of my crews are trained up. Uh, alright, so... I'd probably go M1A1, M1A... Uh, M1IP, the M1A1HC, the clickbait, the aim, maybe the Merkava 3D. We're probably running out of slots. I'd probably throw on, let's see, for planes, 
There's some good options. If you want Mavericks, you can get them with the F4E. Uh, I think some of the A7s can get them, but... It might bring the F4S if you wanted, you know, premium power. I'd probably put on one of the F4s personally, but that's just me. There's a good argument for the Vark, but right now the Vark just has dumb ordnance, unless they've changed something when I wasn't looking. Yeah, it's still just dumb or ordnance. Uh, so I'd probably go with the F4E with Mavericks. If you push up to 11.7, then I would just throw on one of the F-16s and call it a day. Now, the crown jewel for the American tech tree this time around is the M1A2 SEP V2 with, I believe, IRL. It's called the Tusk Package, but it's kind of neat to see an Abrams getting ERA. It's not something that we've really seen much of in, in War Thunder. Uh, I don't think I have it researched because I haven't played the SEP V1 a whole lot, but the Tusk package on here, uh, this animation should show it, should put on some external ERA. Kind of the same idea, but I imagine it's less pow less potent. But this is this is a sexy tank. I love everything on top. Really nice. We were curious to see, my friends and I, were curious to see if this one would be getting trophy. And as far as I can tell, this one does not look like it's getting trophy. So, either this upcoming year or next year, I would be shocked if we don't get another Abrams with trophy. Uh, since I believe in real life, they've been beginning to roll out trophy on the Abrams. But we'll bring this one out for a test drive as well. Um, obviously I don't have all the ammo for it, but hopefully it'll give you a decent example of what this vehicle is. I really do like how beefy the turrets and the, and the protection is on the roof up there. That in the American ERA with these little half cylinder covers, truly looks unique but let's see how the mobility is because this this package is pretty hefty there's a lot of extra stuff that's on here that you don't find on a normal Abrams but look at that we're already hitting 50 kilometers an hour even with all this extra shit on here and we are cruising and look at those thermals I believe these are gen 3 so you can really see all the everything all the little nuts and bolts and welds, you zoom in on them. So that'll be nice. Don't get me wrong, Gen 1 thermals are fine, Gen 2 are adequate. But it is nice to be able to really see what you're looking at instead of just sitting here shooting at, I don't know, a white blur. The heat shell has per usual, leaves a lot to be desired, but with the changes to modification prices on end of tier vehicles that they recently put through, it really shouldn't be too bad. Let's drifter, come to a stop and go. Yeah, it's hefty, but the acceleration's still pretty decent. I guess that's what you get with a turbine engine, though. All in all, for those of you American mains out there, it looks like you're going to get a pretty solid vehicle. I want to look at the protection analysis on the ERA package when we get back to the hangar. But the gun is the same gun that you've been using for the last two years. And the mobility doesn't seem like it's significantly worse than what you normally get out of, out of an Abrams. I'm sure that you accelerate a little bit faster, and I'm sure to some extent your overall speed can be faster. But, I mean, we, we handle terrain pretty well. Let's see, can we, uh, can we get up and go over this? No, not quite. A little bit too steep for us. Right. 
So it still does handle rough terrain pretty decently, even with all the extra weight. That's not a terrible incline right there. So looking at the protection, 175 millimeters, let's see, if we shoot our own heat round, what kind of 1300 from this angle, so you're never getting a heat shell through there, you might be able to get a missile through if it's a tandem heat charge, let's see. How do these do here? That's gonna be a nope from that one. Uh, let's try this. That's still gonna be a nope. Although straight onto the side it can go right through. So yeah, it looks like it'll be a pretty solid vehicle. No complaints. Ammo's pretty much the same as what you're getting in the other Abrams, I think. Yep, looks like it's the same round that you're getting in the other one, so... Same gun, already what you're used to, but... Survivability is probably an improvement. But yeah, looks like a sweet vehicle. Look forward to seeing it in-game. As usual, like, share, subscribe, let me know what you think about it down in the comments. I'm looking forward to America getting a new toy. I'm looking forward to a lot of the aircraft a lot more, but... It looks like they're getting something pretty decent to round the year out on the ground.